Welcome back to the journey. So last time we discussed about the spirit of Hittites and how that spirit of Hittites grips the person and where did the Hittite spirit originated in Genesis uh, in the Garden of Eden in verse uh, Genesis verse 3 10. And right now we'll discuss about the first uh, spirit that the Lord discussed or exhorted the Israelites to be aware of that his angel will go before them and utterly cut them off. That is in Exodus uh, 23, 23. For my angel will go before you and bring you into the Amorites and the Hittites and the Perizzites and the Canaanites and the Hevites and the Jebusites and I will cut them off. Lord talks about, for my angel will go before you and bring you into the Amorites, the first spirit. So why did I take the, the spirit of Hittites before the Amorites? Is that is the spirit of Hittites is the fear that was first released in the Garden of Eden in Genesis 3.10 that we discussed about. Then comes the spirit of Amorites, which is closely associated with the spirit of Hittites. The meaning of the Amorites this particular spirit and what it does in our lives is this particular spirit has the characteristic of always murmuring, complaining, doing things against the word of God. So what do you mean by murmuring? So when every time that or when we try to overcome the spirit of Hittite, the spirit of fear with the power of the word of the Lord and when we get out of our prayer time or our meditation time or the time with the Lord and go about doing our normal chores, the spirit of Amorites always starts murmuring against the confidence that we have built. It could be a message from a man of God, a message that we have heard during the weekend during our church service. And some brother or sister calls you on Monday and starts murmuring about the man of God or even the message or even a brother about a brother or a sister in our church. And they always murmur and they always complain. There's nothing good about anything. And this is clearly the spirit of Amorites. So the spirit of Amorites, I will I emphasize, has this the attitude to murmur, the attitude, to complain about each and everything. So even if you have the, the strongest word in the Bible saying that I will cut them off and I will go before you and you are so self-confident about it and in your spirit you believe it so much. The spirit of Amorites will come and say, okay, what if it doesn't create a doubt and create a complaint? Uh, the person who brought this message to you is like this, this, and he doesn't have the the appropriate credential, theological credential, in order to impart this. And who is this person? And who is not qualified to bring this message to you? And his murmur. There's always some sort of a murmur, like the mosquito, which, who sings or murmurs in your ears all the time. So, my brothers and sisters, we need to be very well aware of the spirit of Amorites in uh, times of our trials and of our tribulation and of our challenges. Uh, we need to be very, very selective and choosy about the people whom we associate. And we need to be equally yoked with people, or our brothers and sisters, those who are of the same wavelength, those who support you. Those who believe, first and foremost and utmost, the word of the Lord. And those who believe that the word of the Lord is supreme against anything else. Those who believe on the same doctrine as that you also believe in. That which is the doctrine of our Holy Spirit, of our Lord Jesus and the Father our Lord. And who believes in the truth more than what is true. There could be situations in our lives that... Whenever we see a bad report, whenever we see something negative, which is true, as I mentioned when we discussed in length about the spirit of Hittites, 
and the truth is far more different than that but what is true will create a certain doubt a certain uh displeasure against what is true so to be very careful in order to avoid certain confrontations so what i meant by being choosy is not to discard or disdain your brothers and sisters but to be careful that your spirit man or spirit woman is not tempered with or impacted by this murmuring complaining uh people those who are dissatisfied all the time and those who try to steal the seed of the word which has been planted in your life to snatch it away i'm not referring to the message but they they operate in such spirits which is satanic of course the spirit of spirit of amorites why would the lord utterly cut them off and allow the israelites allow us to confront the spirits and to utterly cut them off and to cut them off from our lives because they are evil and they do not do any good than harm so it's very important for us to understand and to come into realization and understanding and to be cognizant and conscious in our spirit in our flesh the situations the occasions occurrences and people and events that creates and exuberate or in other words transmit this the spirit of amorites and it's a very subtle spirit my brother and this happens very often in our church friends whereas that in our church friends i'm not talking about our church i'm talking about some other church there are people those who continuously murmur continuously speak against continuously complain never satisfied of how and when and what is done and always something against anything they never satisfied so that's a certain characteristic certain traits that sort of people have there's nothing good a person can talk about of any situation even if you have won a lottery of 1 million dollars there's nothing good that you can talk about it there's always a complaint there's always a negative side which is created of the positive that which comes from you even if the lord heals you even if the lord comes and personally manifests his word in you face to face just like what he did with moses you still have a complaint about it. never satisfied never content and such people with such spirits of amorite spirit always drag the others also down the drain and drag them also to that pit of suffering so when we get into this spirit of amorites the amorite spirit or when we are engulfed with that spirit it's always easy for us to to think the negative side of anything rather than seeing the positive side of it so that whenever a negative element is harped on and meditated in our minds that negative element creates a certain hittite spirit or makes way for a hittite spirit to enter and when the hittite spirit enters you know what happens as we discussed previously that cripples you with fear so it all starts with the amorite spirit murmuring complaining never content so there are many many examples in our lives even though that you don't encounter people those who are with filled with amorite spirit sometimes in your own head your soul and the spirit is at battle and your soul which is controlled by the flesh which is the sap will start complaining about the word of god which is wrong and automatically you will become a person that who will not see anything good about him so always that you would see something bad about it nothing goes my way 
everything i touch doesn't turn to gold but vanishes in my own before my own eyes everything i touch turns out to be negative in such an environment when this amorite spirit starts working in your life that is the time even a christian would turn to material dependence like that you would depend on even fortune cookies you would depend on feng shui you'll depend on certain religious practices religious uh, uh ways of doing things and the laws of probability sometimes that you might think that okay you would throw some dice and think okay is tomorrow going to be a good day for me or not because there's always some doubt running in your head because you murmur against your own self your own soul murmurs against the word of the lord and the spirit the holy spirit inside you so my brothers and sisters my earnest request to you is be very conscious of the spirit of our lord and always remember to keep your god put your god before you and control your mouth as david prayed in the psalms psalm 141 verse 3 set a guard o lord over my mouth keep watch over the door of my lips do not incline my heart to to any evil thing to practice with the word david makes his earnest request prayer heartfelt request to the lord lord set a guard o oh lord over my mouth psalm 141 verse 3 keep watch over the door of my lips now we are talking about a mighty king david who is after the heart of our lord whom the lord has anointed with oil and whom the lord has appointed as king of israel and such a person like david himself asked the lord lord set a guard over my mouth that means whatever the words that i speak out of my mouth lord control them keep watch over the door of my lips the door of the lips whatever that comes out of my mouth and the lips utter close those doors amazing amazing how david prays this to the lord and i was pondering over it and i asked the holy spirit what does it mean lord the holy spirit revealed to me the spirit of amorites which works through the soul of our flesh and the spirit of the holy spirit which who works through our heart there's always a comp- the words that we contemplate in our brains in our mind through our experience through our fleshly inclination are the words that which our mouth is capable and accustomed to speaking and our lips accustomed to muttering so that's why the lip David prayed to the Lord keep a guard over my mouth so that my mouth shall not utter anything which the sax or the soul is instigated and my lips will not utter anything that which my soul has instigated but let my heart come out or from my heart emnet the words that are pleasing to you words that are positive to me that is the earnest prayer that such a man like david also prayed so if david prayed this being uncertain and of course being certain about the fight that the battle that he had between his heart and his soul who are we so my brothers and sisters this amorite spirit now we understand how it works how it takes deep root in our lives and turns our own selves and our words against the word of god by murmuring and complaining so it's an internal battle as much as it's an external battle when we meet certain people with such negativity as that well. so it's very important for us to keep tact 
and keep um, track of this MRF spirit and to be conscious how it is generated and originated so that we may overcome it as David prayed by keeping our mouth shut and our lips guarded and only the spiritual word uh, that will come out of the word of the Lord from the Bible out of our mouths. So my brothers and sisters, as a person who is still going through this process, as David said, he asked the Lord to keep a guard over his mouth and uh, watch over the door of his lips. As he said, so. we are also not perfect. And I am also not perfect who is talking to you. As I mentioned, I am not qualified to even teach or preach. I'm just imparting what the Holy Spirit has revealed to me in my personal meditation time with the Lord. I thought of sharing this with you. So if you're going through a similar situation, how to identify the root as we discussed in the initial stages of our journey discussions and how to overcome it. So let's just make a humble prayer to our Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us to properly identify the spirit of the Amorite or the Amorite spirit in our life. Help us to identify the people, the circumstances, the situations, the environments, and to keep away from such environments and such people so that we may not be impacted or we shall not be overwhelmed by this Amorite spirit in our life. The word that we see sowed every day in our life, may that word grow and bring forth positive thoughts and praises to our Lord and edify the name of our Lord Jesus in through our lips and through the uh, through our lips and over the mouth and we shall praise our Lord on the revelations that we get out of the word of God not that we would murmur and complain against those revelations about the word or any, any man of God but to have complete control over my mouth, over the doors of my lips, as David prayed, so that we shall also overcome just like he did. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.